George de Giorgio was born in a car wreck in France on the way to Italy in 1928. George's father moved the family to Chile at the age of four, where he grew up working in his father's wooden ship boatyard. In 1947, at the age of 17, George joined an American expedition to Antarctica, becoming the youngest person ever to spend a year there. George lived a month alone on the Palmer Peninsula Plateau and was the first to cross from the Atlantic to the Pacific by dog sled which a jo with a joint British-American party. He has a mountain named after him, De Giorgio Mountain. George then spent the next 30 years sailing the world's oceans. George was the navigator on the ship Mischief for the famous English explorer H.W. Tillman. He also hunted for Sir Francis Drake's lost treasure on Robinson Crusoe Island. For the past eight years, George has worked at the Lewis and Clark Interpretive Center and Cascade Historical Society in Great Falls, Montana. Please welcome George DiGiorgio. Wow. Hello. <laughs> Um, yeah, I grew up in a shipyard uh, where my father built sailing ships and I started sailing when I was around 9 or 10 years old. At 18, I became a captain of sailing ships and um, in 1954, that was a long time ago, <laughs> I was sent to Tahiti, which is about 5,000 miles from Valparaiso, Chile. We were taking a cargo of Chilean wine, uh, copper goods, rice, and other items from Chile to Tahiti. And then on the way back, we would bring mother of pearl, vanilla, and coconut, copra. Uh, our first stop was 4,000 miles away in the island of Mangareva. We, uh, Mangareva hadn't had a boat from another country come in for 10 years, so we were the first vessel to come to the island from another part of the world in 10 years. The French sent one ship once a year to supply them. So we got to the island. It had only about 300 inhabitants and the little town of Riquitea. We came through the pass into the lagoon, tied up, and the first person who came on board in a black robe was Father Michel. He said, I am the spiritual leader of these people and um, we invited him to come below and have a cup of coffee, but he said, could I have a glass of wine? <laughs> and then after he tasted this good Chilean wine, he said, you know, I have no wine to consecrate for mass, so could I have a couple liters? <laughs> so we gave him two bottles of Chilean wine, Conchaitoro, and um, when he left, our, the boat was called a Servalabadi. She was a Dutch-built schooner. Then the chief of the island came on board. <laughs> and he said, Captain, you know, you come from so far away. We wish we could show you our old ways, our way of dancing, our singing. And uh, would you authorize us to do this? I said, well, I can't authorize you for anything. He said, yes, you can, you're the captain. So he said, well, in three days, we will have a performance of our dancers and our songs, Polynesian. He got off the boat, and that evening we could hear the drums and the singing in the, in the jungle. The priest came back on board. He said, Captain, I have to talk to you. What are you doing? You're authorizing these people who have been guiding for so many years, I'm making them forgot, forget their old pagan ways and their dances and this lascivious behavior. So uh, I said, well, you know, I can't go back on my word. We're going to let them do their presentation. Um, he said, well, while you are watching this pagan feast, I will be praying for you in the chapel. The day of the performance, we had on board some magnesium flares. You know, the ones they used during World War II to light up runways, stuff like that. We said, well, we want to take pictures of this event. 
I sent two of my crew members to tie the flares underneath the two big breadfruit trees where they were going to have the ceremony. And like that, we could light up and take some pictures. When the time came and the priest was supposed to be praying in the chapel, the dancers came, they started dancing. My first mate went and lit the flares and it threw a big light. And all of a sudden we heard something like a bird falling off the tree. You know, breaking branches and landing in the middle of the dancers. It was Father Michel. <laughs> he was watching the performance. Uh, we laughed. It was so it was so incredible that we didn't take any pictures. He walked back to the chapel and the next morning, he came on board, he said, Captain, you can redeem yourself by doing me a big favor. My generator isn't running, I need to send it to Tahiti. Tahiti was a thousand miles west of where we were in the island of Mangareva. He said, if you take my generator, I'll give you a log of ironwood. Ironwood is very hard, precious wood used for furniture and sculptures and things like that. I said, okay, I'll take your generator. And then the next morning they came with a wheelbarrow and brought me his little generator. And some other of the inhabitants brought the ironwood log. We put this on deck and we sailed towards Tahiti, which, like I said, was a thousand miles away. On the way, we said, well, why don't we stop at the island of Raivavai? It's a small island that has only about 50 inhabitants and we needed water and we wanted to get some more coconuts and mangoes and stuff. So we put into the lagoon of, of, uh, of uh, Raivavai and we were greeted by the, the man who was the leader of the, the chief of the island. He was a male nurse. He was like the doctor of the place. He came on board and when he saw the generator sitting there on deck, he said, oh my gosh, a generator. Is it running? I said, no, it's going for repair in Tahiti. He said, I could repair it here. And I said, you know, this Father Michel was really nasty. He did, I'm gonna do something. I said, you can have the generator. <laughs> then we sailed on to Tahiti, which is an, and we got there. I sold the ironwood log for a lot of money. And, <laughs> and we unloaded our cargo and um, then sailed to Pitcairn Island where the mutineers of the bounty ended up and then to Easter Island and then back to Chile. And uh, that was uh, our adventure in the South Pacific. Thank you.